This video focuses on the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's recommended practices for limited reuse of NIOSH certified N95 respirators during emergency situations such as the current COVID-19 pandemic. Please consult the CDC or National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health websites for further guidance. Reuse refers to the practice of using the same N95 respirator for multiple encounters with the same patient, but removing it, doffing, after each encounter. The respirator is stored in between encounters to be put on again, donned, prior to the next encounter with a patient. CDC recommends that a respirator classified as disposable can be reused by the same worker as long as it remains functional and is used in accordance with local infection control procedures. Even when N95 respirator reuse is practiced or recommended, restrictions are in place which limit the number of times the same N95 is reused. Thus, N95 respirator reuse is often referred to as limited reuse. The following practices are essential for successful limited reuse of an N95 respirator. Strict adherence to hand hygiene techniques. Label the containers used for storing the respirator. Unless otherwise indicated by the manufacturer, preliminary data suggests limiting the number of reuses to no more than five per respirator. A use count should be kept on the storage container. Also label the respirator itself on the strap. Do not write on the respirator material. To minimize potential for further or cross-contamination, you should store respirators in a designated area so that they do not touch each other or cause damage or deformity. To prevent microbial propagation, do not store N95 respirators for reuse in a non-breathable container or bag, such as a plastic Ziploc style bag. Handling the N95 requires you to pay greater attention to make sure the inside of the N95 is not contaminated during donning or doffing. You should also discard any N95 respirator contaminated with blood, respiratory or nasal secretions, or other bodily fluids. To further limit N95 surface contamination, a procedure mask can be worn over the N95 respirator. When donning an N95 respirator, in a limited reuse situation, first perform hand hygiene. Then don procedure gloves. Carefully retrieve the N95 from its storage location. Inspect the N95 for physical damage including good strap tension, an intact nose piece, tears or visible soiling. Avoid touching the inside of the respirator. If inadvertent contact is made with the inside of the respirator, discard it. Don the respirator. Top strap at the crown of the head. Bottom strap at the nape of the neck. Adjust the respirator to ensure a comfortable fit. Perform a user seal check. Discard the gloves after the N95 respirator is donned. perform hand hygiene. Typical doffing sequences will need to be adjusted 
to allow for safe, limited reuse of an N95 respirator. The following sequence picks up after the healthcare worker has exited the patient room and is an example of how doffing the N95 respirator might be achieved. Doffing should be performed in a slow and deliberate manner to avoid self-inoculation or further respirator contamination. Perform hand hygiene. Don clean, non-sterile procedure gloves. Lean forward to remove the N95, beginning with the bottom strap. Use one hand only to doff the N95, keeping the other hand free from contamination for later safe handling of the N95 storage container. Remove the top strap, ensuring it does not contact the interior of the respirator. Place the respirator in the labelled bag or container Remove gloves using glove-in-glove -glove technique. Perform hand hygiene. Indicate the usage count on the N95 storage container. Once doffed, place the respirator in the labelled bag or container Remove gloves using glove-in-glove -glove technique Perform hand hygiene Indicate the usage count on the N95 storage container. 